Hello my friends, today we're doing something a little bit different. I will take you through the process of editing an infrared image. This is an infrared image that came straight from my Sony converted camera. It's like a Sony converted to, uh, it's a Sony A7R and it's converted to 590 nanometer. Now, the first thing you wanna do when you edit an infrared image is to set the white balance. As you can see straight from the camera, the image looks weird and orange, but we cannot move the temperature anymore to the left because we reached the maximum. So how do we cool off this image? The way we will set the white balance, you would go into your profiles and you have to have a custom profile made. I am going to reset this really quick because I wanna show you how to create a custom profile. First thing you need to do is download the Adobe um, DNG converter. This is a free program. Uh, you just go over to the Adobe DNG and then go all the way down to where it says, let's see, downloads. And Adobe DNG converter, I download mine for Mac because I am on a Mac. If you're on a window, then you will uh, load this Adobe DNG converter for Windows. Once you download and install this little program, then you open it and it looks something like this. When you open it, it just looks like that. And what do you need to do is the first of all, you have to be into Lightroom and export one of your images as a DNG. If you don't know how to do that, when you go to file and go to export, just make sure that you select file setting format as a DNG and export it somewhere on your desktop so you can find it easily. I exported this image as a DNG and once you have this DNG converter open, it's really, really easy. You just go to file and open DNG image. I already opened this one, so I don't need to do that. And once you have the image open, the only thing you need to do here is really go into the uh, color metrics and then the white balance calibration, when you open it, it's gonna be at zero, move it all the way to the left. That's the only thing you need to do. Move this slider on the blue all the way to the left at negative 100. Once you do that, then you just go back to file and export and this is gonna be this profile. You will name it by itself. You don't need to do anything. You just click on export and export it. You can give it your own private name if you want. You can go over here and to option and I name mine infrared 590 so I know exactly which one it is. So that's how you would create a DNG profile. So again, just go to export and the program is pretty smart, will know exactly where to send it. Then you have to uh, close your Lightroom and open it again in order to show. And then when you open it, it's going to be into your profiles. And as you can see, I have my infrared 590 over here. So now that we got our white balance corrected, I will send it into Photoshop. So I will do command E to send it to Photoshop. And here I would like to invert my channels because I want the trees to have this brown tone and I want the sky to be blue. To do so, I will go into channel mixer and here onto the red channel, I will take the channel from 100 to zero and I will change the blue one from zero to 100. And then I will go into blue channel and take the blue channel from 100 to zero and the red from zero to 100. And this is how you channel swap infrared photos. Now that looks great, but the blue is too cyan -y, So I do want to go and create a hue satura saturation adjustment layer. And then I will go into the cyan and change the hue a little bit more towards blue. Something like that. I like it better. Now the image is a little bit overexposed. So I will go to curves and take down the exposure. Something like that. And now the blue is oversaturated, so I'll go back to it and desaturate it a little bit. And maybe I'll make it even a touch darker, something like that. Great. Now we have a good starting point. I will flatten this image. So right click on your layer and go to flatten. And now we're working with the single layer. 
and the program I like to edit this image in it is it's a plugin for Photoshop it's called uh, Nick collection and I use color effects pro 4 so I will open that and here you have so many options it's probably gonna open the last one I did and uh, you have all your uh, filters over here on the left so you can see I can convert it to black and white if you click on these little windows then you can see a whole bunch of ver versions of it and I think the one let's see if I can find the one I want to use is this one over here so it's in the by color filters click on this and it's the first choice and I really like the way that one looks the highlights are a little bit too bright so I will move this highlight slider to the right and I think I like that better the problem is my sky it's not blue anymore now it has this like purple brown tone so we have these control points you see with plus and minus I want to use the minus one and click on my blue sky and here is where your radius of your control point is I'll make it about this big and then now just this part became blue because I removed this effect from my image so I want to put a whole bunch of these controls around just to get my sky back to blue to do so I will just duplicate this control point by holding down option and clicking and dragging and this will just duplicate my control and I can make a whole bunch of them move them around make sure I'm removing this filter from my sky because my sky should be bloom let's see if I can put one there maybe one in here maybe one even somewhere in here and that is looking better and now that I am done with this I will just click OK and this will save it back into Photoshop it takes a little while when you first save it you'll have a black mask because the program is still thinking and doing its thing and then it will change into a white mask and it will reveal the effect we did in this image there we go and now our image is complete I would like to flatten this image again right click on the layer and flatten it and this time I will go to file close and save I want to send it back into Lightroom because I just noticed I think my bridge is not straight let's make sure it's straight so I will go into develop I'll get out of these profiles and I'll go into my crop tool and use this angle I like to use this a lot and I will just click at this bar from the bridge and click down and I will make sure that that line is straight and the bridge is straight the whole image is not crooked and that looks great to me I still want to reduce the highlights a little bit maybe increase the vibrance attach now the blue again it's a little bit oversaturated so I will go to saturation and take down the blues a little bit I do want to add a little bit more reddish tones to these oranges so I will go into the hue of the oranges and maybe turn them a little bit more towards red and just like that we edited this image maybe it's a little bit still too bright take it even darker not too much make it a little bit moodier something like that or maybe I would leave it but I will add a little bit of vignette I think that will work better just a little bit and just like that we took our image let's reset it we took our image from that to that thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful and you learned something new my name is kyla ewing i'll see you in my next video